Welcome back to Never Enough Novels. In honor of spooky season and the month of October, I'm sharing a list of book recommendations for romance books about witches. Each of the books on this list that I'm sharing today have kind of a magical element or feature a witch or a group of witches as the main character. These books include contemporary romances, as well as one romanticy book that I just absolutely devoured, and a few that kind of blur the line between women's fiction and romance. As a bonus, some of these are available to read for free as part of a Kindle Unlimited subscription. So if you already have that, you'll be able to read these books at any time for free. Or if you haven't tried it yet, I'm gonna put the link down below to the subscription. A lot of times they offer deals where you can try it out for three months, either for free or for just a couple of dollars. And there are so many books and authors on there that are just fantastic reads that I highly recommend it. I use the subscription all the time. And if you can get it for free, it is well worth it. I'll also share all the links to the books that I recommend today down below. So if you find one that you're interested in, you can purchase it from Amazon and help support this channel along the way. Plus make sure you hit like on this video and subscribe so that you'll see more of my future book recommendations. The first book that I'm sharing today is a 2024 new release that is right up my alley and perfect for anyone who loves baking. And that is Best Hex Ever by Nadia El Fossi. Dina is a witch who is skilled in the kitchen and she uses her magical abilities to infuse emotions and feelings into the treats that she creates. And her cafe in London is extremely successful. So she has a lot of business success, but a hex was placed on her. That means she will not have any romantic success. This was never really a problem until the weekend of her best friend's wedding. So she's the maid of honor and she meets the best man and they kind of hit it off right away. And the whole weekend is filled with a variety of like Halloween themed activities, which makes it just a fun, such a fun read this time of year. But now Dina is actually interested in someone and she knows that this hex that has been placed on her is going to prevent anything from happening between them. So she has to figure out how to lift this hex so that the man that she's starting to fall for doesn't get cursed. I particularly loved kind of the magical system in this one where Dina's ability to bake and infuse her own experiences and past memories into her treats is a way of giving people like confidence that they need or courage to go do something. So it's like a pretty light magical system, but I thought it was just so clever. Then we have the romantic book that I talked about earlier, and that is Heartless Hunter by Kristen Ciccarelli. This is the first book in a duology, and I am so excited for the second book to come out. It was exactly the book I needed after my like fourth wing and Akatar hangover. It is a thrilling game of cat and mouse between a witch and the man who is hunting her kind. Since her world changed forever, Rune has devoted her life to hiding the fact that she is a witch and trying to help other witches from being discovered and persecuted. She covers her tracks by acting as this like ditzy socialite to try and gain intelligence and distract from any interest in herself. As part of her act, she ends up with the opportunity to woo the most well-known witch hunter of her time. She's hoping that if she can seduce him, basically she will be able to discover where they're holding witches and who they're targeting next. Gideon also realizes that there is an advantage to getting to know Rune a little bit better because he suspects that there's more going on behind that ditzy socialite act. So these two are both playing this dangerous game as they spend more and more time together. They're trying to figure out each other's secrets, but also dealing with this brewing romantic interest. It is another fantastic romanticy that I am sure you will love. One of the sweetest and most heartwarming books on this list is The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana. It is full of charm and found family and just has the perfect dose of romance as well. In Mika's world, witches are meant to keep to themselves and not interact much because they don't want their magic to mingle and draw notice to themselves. So although it's not anything spectacular, she's used to her fairly isolated life. Until she takes a chance on a mysterious message that she receives, asking her to train three young witches at No Warehouse. Obviously, since this would be a group of four witches potentially together, this is a bit of a risk, but Mika is ready to take a chance on something new. And that risk turns into a great reward as she bonds with the three young girls. And she might just be winning over the cranky librarian who has been tasked with keeping them safe. 
If you want all of the warm, fuzzy feelings, this is definitely the one of the book about witches for you. More in the typical contemporary romance idea, I have The X-Hex by Erin Sterling. The whole concept behind this is what woman wouldn't want to place a curse on the man who wronged her? Vivian didn't expect to do much damage when she did just that almost a decade ago, but she's realizing that her little curse might have had a bigger impact than she ever expected. Reese shows back up in her town and all starts of eerie and not great things start happening around town. As those little quirks and unexpected circumstances start to get darker and darker, Vivian realizes that the implications of her tiny little curse from 10 years ago might be pretty drastic. And now the only way to set things right is to start working with Reese of all people, who she might just be falling for this time around. The next book on my list is definitely a bit older, but it is still one of my all-time favorites, and that is Garden Spells by Sarah Addison Allen. This author is known for her like magical realism books, so technically maybe books about witches, but they're very light magic, and they're more like women's fiction with just a dose of romance. I can honestly recommend every single book that she's written, but Garden Spells was my first by her and still one of my all-time favorites. The Waverly family is known for their curious abilities in their small town. Claire Waverly is our main character and she's known for weaving emotions into her food. So she runs a catering business and she enjoys her kind of quiet little life in this town. But when her sister returns with a young daughter in tow, Claire's life is turned upside down. She is forced to reopen her cart in more ways than one as they kind of struggle to figure out how to manage this new family that they've created, especially when danger comes calling on the heels of her sister. There is just a little bit of romance in this, but also a fantastic dose of reconnecting with family and finding some love and opening yourself up to love in your life. And that little bit of tension at the end with the dangerous situation makes this just a fantastic book from start to finish. Next on my list is A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. If you like the idea of more of a historical fiction type romance book about witches, this would be the one for you. It reads like more of a scholarly tale about the history of witches and vampires and how they have interacted over the decades and centuries, but it also has a hefty dose of suspense and romance as well. I was completely hooked after the first few chapters and ended up flying through the entire novel. It is part of a longer series, so if you love this first book, you get to keep reading for a long time. The basic premise is that when a rediscovered manuscript brings about the emergence of a whole host of mythical creatures, Diana and Matthew, a witch and a warlock, are forced to work together. They end up fighting for their lives and for their families and developing a romance as well. This definitely feels like more of like epic fantasy, just with the amount of books that are now in the series, how much they cover, the suspense, the romance, it's got everything. And the last book I'm going to share is The Vine Witch by Luann Smith. This is one of the books that is available on Kindle Unlimited for free. I forgot to mention the other one is Heartless Hunter, that romantic book that I mentioned earlier. The Vine Witch is a fascinating take on magical influence in the making of wine. Elena is a powerful witch who has just returned home to her vineyard after breaking a seven-year curse. She is eager to get revenge and get back down to business creating her world-renowned wines. But when she returns, she finds that the vineyard has been sold, sold to a skeptical city guy and someone has been performing dangerous blood magic nearby. This book is fast paced and jumps right into the heart of the story, so it was impossible to put down. I thought the whole concept of vine witches using their power to like enhance and create the vines and the grapes that are used in making wine was really fascinating. Plus, as the threat of blood magic increased and its impacts on Elena started to show, things just took off and it got very intense very quickly. Hopefully you found a new romance book about witches to read this time of year. Stay tuned for even more book recommendations.